my company has uh, 21 years old, so it's a, it's a more than an adolescent company, let's say, contemporary dance. Uh, we are based in Rio de Janeiro, in Brazil, and the last eight years I'm working, I try to make a project, develop a project in one of the biggest favela in Rio de Janeiro. I don't know if people know what favela is, it's a slang in English, and favela, everybody, I think, knows what it does it mean. So, uh, um, now, the, uh, three years ago, we found uh, a big space, empty space, abandoned space for uh, 20 years. And uh, uh, we tried to rebuild the space and to make our place to rehearsal and to create. And also, we're trying to make a dance school there and so we gave classes to the people from the favela for free. We have uh, uh, 100 students from seven years old to 70 years old. And uh, so this is, is our project. And also, of course, we make our creations li like Pororoca, you will see in the Biennale. Pororoca is a word from the uh, Indian language, one of the Indian language of Brazil, Tupi, and means uh, that the meeting with the water from the sea and water from the river, uh, especially in the Amazon River. So there is a, a fen fen natural phenomenon, and uh, when the, the water from the sea enter in the river, and it's a big thing because, of course, Amazona is a huge river and it makes a wave, 12 kilometers wave, that enter into the, the river and destroyed everything. But at the same time, uh, it's a meeting of colors because it's different colors from the sea and from the river. Also the salty water and the sweet water. And also it fertilizes the earth around. So it's a very, I think it's a metaphor for our work in the favela and because, uh, and also a metaphor for the meetings we have in our lives, I think. Meet the difference, how we deal with the difference. So this is uh, the basis of uh, Pororoca, is the meeting, the meeting of the other, the meeting of difference and how can we deal. Uh, they are, we are 11 dancers, so we are in the, on the stage trying uh, to find a solution to be together all the time. Fighting, loving, laughing. Uh, you, so it's um, a little bit like this. It's uh, apparently ca chaos. Uh, it's like uh, if you go to the favela in Rio de Janeiro, if you walk around, you, you, you think that uh, is a chaos, nothing is, is really, is more cha chaotic than Venice, let's say. <laughs> Venice is quite chaotic, I think, with all these tourists. It's a little bit, I, I feel a little bit, uh, there is something to do with Venice, I don't know why. Maybe because the favela is something to do of the very old times, because the streets sometimes are like here. I feel a little bit like the favela, in a completely in a different way, but there is something. All these tourists also walking around, and there uh, people from the favelas walking around and bicycles. There is no bicycles in Venice, so but there is boats, etc. It's a mess in Venice. Huh? So favela also is a mess, but I guess Venice has also a kind of organi uh, organization. And also in the favela, so it's not a chaos, it's a, or a different way to organize. So this is inside also Pororoca, it's a different way to organize. You see like a chaos, but it's not a chaos, it's just know what's happened and do like this. <laughs> 